Hi, I'm Dr. Lewis Raymond. I'm a sport and exercise medicine consultant. I work in the NHS, private practice and in elite sports. Working in elite sports um, helps, helps me provide the highest quality of care to all of my patients. And today I'd like to talk to you about a really common condition that affects a lot of people. Uh, this is sciatica. So sciatica is that sharp burning pain that often can start in the lower back and radiate down the back of your leg, often as far down as the foot. So what is sciatica? Well, sciatica is really an irritation of that nerve, the sciatic nerve that runs down that course where you feel the pain. Sometimes it can be caused by something pressing on the nerve, for example, a disc in the lower back, or it could be from an irritation of the nerve, something that's irritated it, which could occur following an injury. In terms of who's affected by sciatica, really there is certainly is a high preponderance in an older age group, and often there's no clear cause that's identified. In the younger age group, sometimes it could be following an injury, whether that's a sports-related injury, a fall, or a twist. Now, there's some important things to be mindful of sciatica. Obviously, there's that pain, which could be uh, causing a large amount of discomfort. But if you're noticing any more concerning symptoms, for example, um, bowel or bladder problems, loss of sensation, then that's really an indication to seek urgent medical advice. If you, if you come to see me for um, low back pain and sciatica, we'll go through a detailed history. This will be talking about the symptoms, how they're affecting you, how they're affecting your day to day life. We'll go through a detailed examination where this will be looking at particularly your lower back, hips, knees, seeing what are particularly provoking aspects um, for your pain and also looking if there's anything underlying that may well be triggering it. So this could be looking particularly at your biomechanics, your work setup. Um, what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I have access to advanced imaging techniques such as MRI, which may be helpful in terms of actually visualizing the nerve, the nerve roots, and anything that may be pressing or irritating on the nerve itself. Now, in terms of managing sciatica, there's often a number of different factors which are, uh, which are affecting it, and, that, and a management plan really re reflects that. So if there's anything underlying, particularly from biomechanics or muscular related, then we'll be focusing on that, often working quite closely with a physiotherapist. If pain is impacting you, really being able to do your activities um, or engage with that treatment regime, then often we may need to look at things such as medications or sometimes targeted injections to really help settle down the inflammation um, that's triggering the pain with it. Very rarely are things such as surg uh, surgery needed, but if that is required, um, then I have a wide network of surgeons that I work with. The real focus here is looking at getting your pain under control, addressing any underlying causes for it, so that you're able to get back to the activities that you really love doing. 